first things first, we're gonna roll it blunt. But now, what is the craziest place you ever fucked on? Where? The craziest? That's what the. We, we, we gotta make this view, this video interesting. What is the craziest place that you ever fucked at? We still got some buds, we still got some blunts. I think we should roll up another blunt. Hold up! Yeah, put those back, put those back, put those back, put those back, put those back. Put those back. Oh my god. Put those Badass little vibe. We're gonna go explore this abandoned building. The line hey. hey. This if is I don't come back, If I don't come back, <laughs> fucking blame Louis for this motherfucker making me. Hi, welcome to Vital Cuts. Come on in. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So, what can you tell me about the place? Where, where y'all located at? Well, we're at 804 Gladstill Road in Conroe, Texas. Uh, we're open seven days a week, 363 days a year. Uh, my name is Justin. I'm the manager here, and um, we have 10 barbers on staff. And we just we would love to have you guys come in and check us out sometime. Come on in. What are your what are your, your hours and like your days like? Um, our, our hours differ uh, through each day, and uh, they're on our website. Or um, but they are usually from about nine to about seven or eight o'clock at night. Shit, shit, I see you see you got cutting over there. Let's let's go check him out. Let's see what he's doing. I see he's he's the one that just coming today. Yeah. He did good to be honest. So oh uh, you wanna show yourself out? My bad. I didn't, so, I didn't it, it's D Dot Drew. D Dot Drew? That's that, that's it on Instagram, TikTok sir. and everything? Yes sir. We're gonna put it right here. And hey, what about the, the barber cutting uh, Drew? Oh, well, shit, what's your tag? What's shit. your tag? Where can oh. people find you? You can find me on Instagram at rico.jstip23. Also, and we're full on Snapchat, rico 2 Chris. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna put all the tags on Y'all yeah. come over. We'll get y'all right. We'll get y'all right. Come on. And I didn't got your tag. What's your hey, tag? I'm Pope the Hair Pro. P-O-P-E. Pope the Hair Pro. Right here. And here we got one of our uh, one of our long-term barbers here, Rob. Nope. He's getting a last-minute cut in today. Yes, oh, so you know what you got to say about this last last. Also today, y'all close early, right? Yes, today we're uh, Sundays. We're 11 to 3. Uh, mm -hmm. That is our short day, but I know everybody. A lot of barber shops are closed on Sunday, so we try to get y'all's last minute cuts in. Come on, come stay, on. Stay busy on Sunday. And what you got to say about the you, how how you liking the vibes? How long have you been working here? Shit, I've been here for about. A year and a half? A year and a half? Yeah, bro. Look, love here. And how are you liking the vibes here? Vibe. It's always lit. What about you? How long have you been here? I've been here for about six months. Um, I know a lot of these guys before we even I even came up here, and that's how I got my leg in because I mean every barber around wants to come work at Vital Cuts. It, it is a bad barber shop in Conroe. Best barber shop in Conroe. My new barber shop too. How do you call it? In, uh, any any details you want to tell me about the barber shop? Uh, we cut kids of all ages. Uh huh. We have walk-in Wednesday, which is twenty-five dollar haircuts. It doesn't matter the cut. Um, of course, if you add in a beard, it's a little bit extra. Um, you know, we got we got music. Most of the time, we have beers for y'all up that are of age. If you if would like to have over one, 21. Yes. If you're over twenty one. Yeah. And uh, shit, no quiz. Thanks, and make sure to check Vital Cuts. And where can we find the the, uh, the page for the? It's the gonna place? be. It's everything is Vital Cuts, and the, the the S is a Z instead of an S for Vital Cuts. We could check the little logo over there. Don't let him do his thing. Don't let him do his thing. And I know you gotta do your thing because we're about to, yeah, y'all yeah. about to close. Yeah, there we are right here. Here's our walk-in Wednesday special. We can hook y'all up. We have products right here on the wall. Y'all wanna check out some of those? Shit, powders, pomade. Yeah. We've got the styling powder. Uh, we've got the aftershave. I know some of y'all like that barbershop smell. We, man, we've got the same stuff that we use here on the wall if y'all wanna pick up some for the house. We also have, uh, we have a little bit of merch over here on the wall. Man, y'all gonna like these shirts right here, man. Because if we can't make you look good, you're just ugly. Ooh. Does a black one say it too? Same thing. How much how much do these run? 27. 27? Let me get one. I'm a medium. Alright, I got medium. you. So I'm about to check out and check out the check out the barbershop. And again, how can you how, yeah, uh, we'd love to see you guys sometime? Oh boy. And uh, what are we getting, bro? We're gonna do a uh, more like a mid burst down to the V in the back. Uh -huh. We're gonna hit a little texture of fringe up in the front, clean up the beard. That's what's so good. And we're going to, yeah, yeah. So, bro, how long have you been cutting for? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, 
I think it's only been, what, a little over two years now? Not too long. Yeah. How did it start it? What made you was like, hey, I want to cut hair? I'm not going to lie. I had no intention of cutting hair. Uh, but I was down bad working at Walmart. It was like years after, uh, years after high school. Just uh -huh. not, I had no idea what I wanted to do. And uh, I was at the shop. from there a while. I mean, yeah. So he kind of took me in and showed me around. Uh, so I mean, it definitely helped out a little bit. Otherwise, I would have had no idea what I was doing. What about like in this barbershop? How long have you been in this barbershop? I've only been here for, uh, what, three months now? And how are you liking in those three months? It's cool. Because uh, before this, I was bartending. Oh yeah? Uh, while I was in school and everything. It took me a while to finish because I ended up with kids and stuff. See, so you know how to, you know, you know how to, you know how to make them drinks, huh? Oh yeah. But see, any advice, like let's say someone's trying to cut hair, trying to learn how to cut hair or shit like that, any advice, any recommendations? Just go for it. Just say, the, the moment I started, because I, I had my doubts, and that's, that's where I messed up, is it, it took me forever to get through school. Uh-huh. If you don't cut hair, you get in school, get done with it, get out. Come on. The faster you are, the, the quicker you can get to do what you want to do. And what do you, what do you like, like, what do you get a lot, like, for your customers? Like, do you get the old school or the new school? I mean, it, especially here, it's, uh, when I was doing my own, like, thing outside of here, it was definitely more the new school. Um, but definitely once coming up in the shop, you know, it's been a little bit more of a, a mix. You get kind of everything up in here. And what do you, like, enjoy doing, like, New cuts or old school? Because we know the new cuts, you could, like, a la verga salió mamalón, but uh, old hey. school is like, it's faster. I mean, I prefer the old school cuts, just the, the nice clean, like, mid phase and stuff. Uh -huh. But, you know, it is what it is. A lot of, I like, the bursts and everything that come through. I mean, you gotta know how to do everything. It gets to a point where you, you don't get to pick what you're doing. That shit helps. When I was doing my own thing, I kind of like picked my clientele on what I wanted to do. But shit, we're going to commercials, then we'll come back with some questions. We're back outside, look. Like, we got the All right, me, bro. What you, honest opinion, bro? Nah, that shit came out fresh. That shit came Damn. out fresh. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. So where are we going? Oh, we thought it was like chamos. We're going to do some errands right now. Yeah. Well, he's doing his errands. I'm doing my errands. And then after that, we just link up back together type shit. Okay. 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 I'm from Houston. I'm from Texas. Well, we fuck your bitches and we run up on your exes. Now I'm back in, stepping on by my business. Run them up, run some more. Once again, I bet I leave no winners. I've been cooking now we smoke. The crazy, the craziest place that I smoked at it has to be ditches, like just like those ditches what? that are abandoned. Cause oh, what the fuck? Like the plant, <clears throat> not abandoned, but not taken care of. Ditches. What do you mean? So como like no más así like no sé cómo se llama, pero es like just like terreno like que nadie toca. It's like, you know, it's like the, the dead end shit. And then by my house, we used to have like a big ass, I don't know, I don't know how you call it. I'm gonna drop out. But it's like a little river. And we used to have like a little bridge on top. Canal? Probably that. We used to have, we still have it. And that's where I smoked that. And it was better as though, but like I said, people don't, this is not like city shit. You know, the, 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 the grass is not gonna be cut. Oh, like force. What you know what's out there, you know? Yeah. Fuck around if I <laughs> Type shit. But what about you? I think this place I ever fucked at. We were gonna get back to the other question. Man. Uh I think it was I don't think it's really crazy. But it was kinda like in my brother's car with my with my my kid my uh, my little niece is fifteen. Like 
Like, because he, he, yeah. Yo, I was like, let me borrow the truck to key. I'm gonna go to the gas station real quick. And then, like, I was fucking. And then he came outside and he was, and he was like, hey, what the fuck? Why are you fucking in my whip? But he was fucked up, so he started laughing. <laughs> and then uh, he left, he came back, and I was still fucking. And he was like, damn, nigga, nothing got, nothing got caught. And then he was like, just like, he was like, now definitely not the door. He like, uh, yeah, hey, that's too much. Hey, yeah, that's yeah. too much. Yeah, you were wild for that after. I don't and know then, if you heard him because you were talking to me. He went back inside, and then the third time it came out. And I was still fucking. And he was like, bro, just put it up. Come on, get dressed. and let it. Talk to them. Don't talk help. to me. Oh, but I'm letting you know. Oh, boss. Man, for me, bro, I don't know what's crazy because. Okay, check it out. There's a whole list. There is a, a an abandoned church. Oh. Abandoned. Uh, I'm gonna skip to the next question and I lost my virginity in a school teacher's restroom. Um, she don't pinch his mother parkies. Oh, parks are you though, man? But not an abandoned church, yeah. That's a different man. We did it at the track, I did it at the track once, so pretty much I don't know which one's wild. I'm not going to expose myself. Oh, what about you? Nigga just fixed problems up. Oh, where do you lose your V card at? I already said at a school teacher's restroom. Bro, oh, I lost my V card with one leg. I was injured by one leg. Basically, like I had injured my day beforehand, like my leg beforehand, so I was like on the crutches. Uh huh. So like I was in bed and like <laughs> Shotty Bay was like I was like how old was I? Like sixteen, seventeen, and then like Shotty Bay was like. Shoddy Bay, why are you calling her Shoddy Bay? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just say Shoddy. Shoddy. Or oh, whatever. My, her, my girl at the time, like, she was, she was like, um, she was fucking, like, fucking around. She was in the area. So I was like, okay, um, slide through, whatever, yada, yada, yada. My, I'll sneak you through. And my homeboy, at the time, my neighbor, he knew how to get, like, around back, and I couldn't because I had crutches, and of course, people were out there. So he literally waited for her, and she got out the car. Mm -hmm. He helped her and directed her in the back of my house. Like a whole plan, bro. Like I swear to God. And then he was like. So pretty much a girl, cause you're talking to me, bro. You gotta talk oh, to them too. Bro. I'm listening. Yeah. If y'all didn't hurt that, you, you wanna explain again? Okay, yeah. So. I was gonna say, but it's not my story. It's your story. So basically, restart. So the craziest play, uh, the way I lost my virginity was like, I had injured my, my leg a day before, like going out there fishing. And I was running with a football. <laughs> Cause um, yeah, <laughs> cause uh, we were just playing football, and uh, basically, I um, I had fuck fuck fuck. Oh. Yeah, that was distracting me the whole time. Basically, long story short, I injured my leg, and when I injured my leg, um. What do you call it? I was at home and I was by myself, yada yada yada. But my family was home at the time, so um, I had, she was she was in the area because she went out to eat with her parents or something. So my girl at the time, I told her to slide through, and uh, I talked to my homeboy. I was like, "Hey, I'm injured. Like, you know, she's on the way. Go ahead and like, you know, show her the way to get back there." A whole motherfucking escort just to get yeah. to this nigga. Literally, I ain't gonna lie to you, cause like. He, he was like literally waiting for her outside and got to yeah, her. Yeah, that's a W man though. Yeah, I ain't Because like, like, who's going to take the time to like... It was like uh, late too. It was late too and he was in bed, bro. I ain't going to lie. He was like, for real? I'm like, bro. I'm like, bro, I can't walk, bro. I can't walk. I'm like, hook it up. See, like, I got you. So he told me like, he literally told us like, look, you go through here. You go that way. It's the last window. You knock the eyes. Yada, yada, yada. Like the whole code and everything, bro. So he told her that. Um, so she did that. She did that, she ran across, she ran across and I didn't know because I was still playing the game. And like in the middle of me playing the game, she like, she like knocked on the window so I closed the door and we started fucking with it, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, oh shit. And then my cut, my brother starts knocking at the door, bro. Mm -hmm. And my brother starts knocking at the door and he's like, hey, I need to grab uh, my little nephew's clothes real quick. And I was like, uh, I, I hand it to you. Like, nah, I have to go in there and go grab it. So I was like, Fuck, bro. So, <laughs> shit. With one leg. With one leg. With one leg at this time. I'm doing my <laughs> thing. One leg. Is... Literally. But, um. I'm his primo, Ashy. My back up. I'm telling a story. Uh -huh. But, um. 
I was like, okay, so she ran into the closet like naked like that. And she puts it on like she puts a, like the cover over like on the closet, and he walks in and he and I start moving things all around because like her clothes are everywhere. So I start moving shit and then he's like, huh? He's like, okay. And then he looks at the dresser because my dress is here and then the closet's right there that has some of his clothes. Uh huh. And then I had told my niece before I'm like, hey, like I, I'm gonna bring a bitch over. Don't tell your parents. So she knew and she was like, she was looking around, she like, it's, she looked at me like that, she was like, it's, it's the girl here? And I was like, I was like, just like shaking my head. And um, my brother was looking through the dresser and he was like, I can't find it, I think it's in the closet. And he literally grabbed the closet door and he's about to open it. And my niece was like, no, 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 it's not there, look, fuck, look. And grabs shit out the dresser and she was like, look, there. She was like, let's go. And then W W knees. W knees. And then this she, is this that night was nothing uh, but W W bro. I, I literally uh, a whole motherfucking escort, a whole motherfucking I don't see nothing. Yeah, and then I was literally in the <laughs> I, I know, I, Yeah. I was on the mic there the whole time. I had the mic on the all on the game. That was funny as fuck. My homeboys listening. Not my homeboys, my cousins were listening there, like, oh shit, and I had to like disconnect at the in the game but um after that after that what do you call it I did my thing and then um she yeah she left she left but that's a wild ass fucking story away that's some bullshit man, it makes my story make kind of like bullshit so bro you, you did it you did it in a fucking a school that's how I did I, uh, I don't I never fucked in a school bro how they called it fuck you so I used to have this girlfriend at the time right and then what I went from kissing to playing Type shit. to like we were on heat, you know what I'm saying? Like we need to do something about it. You know we need to <laughs> now. But it, uh, we came out with a plan. She she used to be on band, and the closest restroom was the the school rich uh, restroom. I don't know. You don't got something to drink? Water, fine. Ahorita. But how do you call it? They only had the teacher's restroom, the closest for the band students. Plan was, I meet her there, she opens the door, we got in, and you cannot go in unless you have the key. Man, there was like a blue chair right there. Boom. I don't know, how was it? It was either atrás, primero, or sentado primero. It was one of those two. I mean, th those two we only had that time, but that shit was crazy. And I don't. Know. We said, oh, yeah. He walked out of the restroom, of man, like that. Man. How did you go through the rest of the day? She, it was wonderful, man. You were feeling like the man, huh? Yeah, yeah, and then I was doing these videos, too. Oh, uh, yeah, so you just finished and you're like, yeah, let me just see some videos. That's crazy. But yeah. Crazy life. Uh, you know it's crazy enough. Like after after that that ended up happening, the whole escort and everything, she got scared because she was late, I guess. And uh, she told her mom and dad. And then her mom and dad at the time told my cousin because that was my cousin's friend the girl who I lost the video anyway that was my cousin's friend home girl at the time damn so y'all thought y'all was cool and everything and we're like that was cool y'all that was cool that was cool that was like you said we on the motherfucking YouTube. <laughs> hey, we're, we're just rapping. We're just yapping. None of this ain't true. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know how to rap, but I'll give it back to you. Hey. 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 Hold on. I say, I say, stick it with my chest. Hey, this mad niggas mad, and they all keep impressed. Big fall fine, never been impressed. I've been out working, nigga. I don't stay stressed. Hey, man, my money if I make it less. 45 on me, nigga, it protect. Uh. And my money, I got bags, I invest. Uh. Big fall five, but I also got a tech and a vest. Good niggas I ain't for the heart. Uh. And people I ain't for the head. That's why I keep shooting until I die. You die, both of us are dead. Uh, ay, it don't matter how you move, I just step. Ay, it's better than, better than, you might make fool.
Me querías quitar mi nicotina, ey. Me quería quitar mi nicotina, little finas nigga. Hold on. Hey, hey, dancing with the devil on a different level. I've been banging heavy metal. Hey, and my head is a rebel. I've been throwing up myself, rock hard and some pebbles. Hey, hey, I've been dancing, I've been dancing with the devil. <laughs> Compadre, andamos en vibras, corridos tomados. You gonna say, say what no. you gonna say, bro? I'm a, I'm a, We're not gonna think about it. I'm a, hey, llego a la casa, saco a Rochas que yo salga al baño. Rochas es mi perro, él le llamo Rochas porque se comió mi Rochas del cielo. Andamos al millón haciendo estas pacas verdes todos los días y terminamos. She was seeing it all the time. Ooh. But that right now we're going to, to discover. We're going we're going to see what's cracking over there. Hey, what were you doing? Sure. You just come out of your cars like that. You throw a hat. With who? If you don't know who did it. With Catherine. Damn. Downtown too. Houston, pedestrian, zero. Oh, vamos a ver qué rollo. Right now we're gonna rent some scooters. And uh, we're gonna see what kind of footage we can get. Right As you can see, there's like paintings everywhere. This was badass. A lot of nice buildings. What you gonna say about downtown? Dope. I love the, I like, I like the building, the way it's built, the lights, everything. Love the city. Sí. Y nos vamos a comerciales. Pero para Tesla with a crack windshield as well. What's up with these guards getting cracked? Damn boy. Hey. 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 Ooh, look at the GA right there. Hold on. Badass little vibe. So welcome back guys to the channel. Nah, bro, On today's channel we're gonna go explore this abandoned building. The line, hey. hey. This if is I don't come one... back, if I don't come back, <laughs> fucking blame Louis for this motherfucker making me uh, That's how every scary movie starts, but of course I'm the friend that you know Warned everybody but on today's video we exploring the most haunted downtown building <laughs> fuck it let's go no no hold on we're going to a bridge 